What's going on everybody? We're back with an Arden indoor smoker update. Now, last time you saw Arden, it was all about the design. You saw a bunch of drawings, a bunch of things on computer screens, but we just got four DG units in the mail. That's right, four real deal Ardens. So get ready, update coming at you. What's up everyone? I'm here at First Build with our brand new DG units. This is our Engineering Build 1. These are the first units that have came in from our supplier with our new IDO appearance, but these units are actually functional. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of testing, jumping in, flushing out all of the issues with these units to make sure we can get those new production units out to you as soon as possible. So you guys have seen our First Build prototype, but this is the first time where we actually have a functional prototype that looks like our intended design specification. This one has the nice glass front. It has our new and updated UI. It has a lot of the sensors and features that uh, we had initially promised uh, during our crowdfund, but this time it's actually here in the flesh so we can start testing these units um, and making sure all of these features work just as we expect. Hey, Rick here. Uh, gonna give you a, a quick look at what we've got going on. We're, I'm doing a little smoke testing on the Arden prototype that we've got in. And uh, just to kind of walk you through, this is very preliminary software, um, although we're on our, about our fourth revision. So we're getting revisions multiple times a week uh, as we kind of upgrade some of this functionality. But I'll just show you quickly what I've got going on. Again, it's running, a, I'm, I'm doing smoke testing, so it's running a cycle right now. Uh, but we can actually start and resume a cycle here with the start button. I'm already running, so that's not going to work at the moment. I can cancel the cycle, of course, uh, which will currently in this version of software, but when I first press cancel, it'll go into a smoke clearing uh, phase, and then a second press will shut everything down. Um, we've got eject pellets. Uh, th this is still kind of being designed, but the thinking, at least in this version, is that I'll push this button, be able to dial in how long I want to run the auger uh, for the number of seconds, hit enter, and then it'll flush out pellets or load pellets into the auger. Uh, light, of course, you can see here, light's working. I can toggle the light on and off in the cavity. Um, settings, because I'm running, I won't be able to show you all of them. There are a lot of settings, uh, but if I press it during this, during operation, I can look at the different temperatures in the system. And uh, so these are kind of, um, we've, we've got sensors in the system that are kind of separated from the items that they're, they're measuring, but um, so, and these are in Celsius, so I've got my, my um, smoke elimination temperature. Um, I've got my, uh, I believe this one is the igniter temperature, so this is where we're generating smoke. I've got my cavity temperature, which is right around 300 uh, degrees F, a little over. Um, again, when I'm not running, I can go into the settings menu and dial in all kinds of things. Um, our, uh, some of the parameters for our control algorithms, uh, temperatures, uh, times, etc. So, we've got a, a decent amount of functionality in these early prototypes, and uh, it's been pretty fun to test. All right, so here's a look at the smoke coming out of the smoke generation system. Comes out right here. Keep some of it in. All right, so we're super excited to finally get these units in. We have a ton of testing that we've already started doing. We've already found a few potential problems. We noticed that there's a few leaks and gaps in the cavity, uh, so we're trying to seal those up because without, without proper negative pressure inside the cavity, then the catalyst and our smoke elimination system is not going to be doing its job in pulling the smoke out and through our smoke elimination system. And this is just the start. Just looking over the horizon, we have a ton of tests that we have to get started on these units. Tons of safety tests, reliability, performance, uh, as well as making sure that there aren't any more flaws that are going to work themselves out uh, on this engineering build. Like I said, this is just our first engineering build. We're going to have a second engineering build after that, then a pre-pilot phase, then pilot, then production. So there's going to be multiple runs to make sure we flush out all of those issues. Uh, and of course, this takes time. So uh, this is just the very first of the steps. 
and we're working to make sure that we can flush out all of those issues and run through all of those tests, all of that reliability plan, so when you get your unit at home, it's going to be working just as we expect. All right, so we're gonna keep you guys updated. We have a lot more tests that we need to get done on these units, like I said, so we can flush out all of those issues. And as more tests develop, and as we learn more about these units, we will be sure to be posting more updates and keeping you guys in the loop along this product development journey. So you'll see more of me soon with some more Arden updates. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.